Cue up the round ball rock. It's time for another episode of NBA COVID-19. Tonight's top stories, a look at the deciding matchup of the NBA Finals between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Milwaukee Bucks. Reigning MVP Giannis Antetokounmpo and LeBron James go head-to-head. Who comes out on top? And looking ahead to the 2020 offseason, find out why our experts are expecting a very uneventful summer. Stay tuned for NBA COVID-19, a.k.a. an excuse for me to mess with some of the After Effects templates that I downloaded today. Lakers and Bucks, a Game 7 in a hotly contested series back in Milwaukee for the deciding matchup. The show opens up with an ad for a clothing company inside of a $60 video game. A $60 video game that I might add has numerous untold issues in the PC version, making it almost unplayable. In fact, recording footage from it is the closest I can often come to actually playing games. Carmelo Anthony Davis warming up for the Lakers and an embarrassing sight as Bucks head coach Mike Budenholzer falls asleep on the sidelines before the game. What a shame. Giannis starts off strong, collecting two offensive rebounds in a row, including his own miss, before dunking all over. Poor Anthony Davis. 2-0 to open up the contest. Hope you came looking for some Dion Waiters highlights, because Lord knows we got those. Misses the three, gets the steal on the other end. He's going to go down, split the defense, and then still put up another contested jumper that doesn't go. Anthony Davis gets swatted on the rebound. Dwight Howard swatted by the Greek Freak. Bucks defense starting off strong. A little bit later in the quarter, LeBron James finds Dwight Howard on a big ol' oop. The uh, aged Dwight Howard might not have done well in the dunk contest, but he's dunking well tonight. Quick pan of the crowd shows that apparently coronavirus still making the Milwaukee fans nervous. A lot of empty seats for a deciding finals matchup. Minute to go in the first quarter. JaVale McGee is going to take it upon himself to drive to the basket. Can't connect on the first attempt, but the Lakers doing well on the offensive boards. He might have been on the line. Milwaukee fans were not happy about that. Next possession, Davis gets the steal. Danny Green tries to put it up himself. He can't connect, but Kuzma with another offensive rebound. The Lakers build themselves a four-point lead late in the first quarter. Not long after that, Anthony Davis is going to be grabbed and fouled by Game of Thrones villain Ersan Ilyasova. Davis is going to connect on both of his free throw attempts, and with only three and a half seconds left, Milwaukee does not have enough time to get much of a shot off before we end up going to the second quarter. Oh no, I'm sorry. George Hill casually drains a shot from the antlers on the other side of the court. Milwaukee cuts the lead down to only three points, 15-12 at the end of the first quarter. Second quarter action, Hill up to some old tricks again, finds a wide open and very confident Chris Middleton. Do you see that little pose after they made the shot? Milwaukee though, unable to score for a little bit of time, we see Kyle Kuzma with the up and under move. And check out the Wiley veteran, Rajon Rondo, getting the rebound, finding an open Anthony Davis in the middle of the court to get the assist as well. Lakers lead up to six with LeBron James on the bench. Been a little while since we had a Deion Waiters highlight. He gets the pass with 22 seconds on the shot clock. If you watch here, it takes a solid 11 seconds before he even gets the ball to LeBron James in the post, only for James to kick it back out and him clank an open three-pointer. The edibles in full effect for Deion Waiters tonight. This possession is important, though, because this Brook Lopez jumper is the first points that Milwaukee has scored in the entire second quarter. Lakers not shooting well from distance, but it doesn't matter. They're getting every offensive rebound they can get. Dwight Howard with the putback. And right here, we actually have a Deion Waiters assist. He gets an open lane, but decides Howard would benefit. Too much work to get up there to the rim for Dion. And the three ball might not be falling for the Lakers, but check out Brooke Lopez here keeping the game close. Milwaukee not shying from the distance shot. Now here's an interesting possession though. Giannis, quiet in the second quarter, gets the ball down low. He has Kuzma on him and it looks like he should be able to do anything with that that he wants, but instead he picks up the dribble, panics, kicks it out, and the Bucks are not able to get anything out of this possession as Giannis misses a putback after a good offensive rebound. What do the Lakers do on the other end? Well, it's the same thing they've been doing all night. Avery Bradley misses his first shot. He gets his own offensive rebound, connects on the two points. The lead's now up to nine. Ensuing possession. Watch Dwight Howard here. He's thirsty for a title ring. He gets the defensive rebound. He chugs along down the court until LeBron James finds him for another alley-oop. LeBron James with a couple of alley-oop passes to Dwight Howard. 
Milwaukee not able to answer on the other end. We go to halftime, 31 to 20, LA lead, as they outscore the Bucks 17 to five in the second quarter. Second verse, same as the first. The Lakers open things up with what's been working. LeBron James feeding Dwight Howard. He gets another dunk. Hey, Dwight isn't the only Laker that LeBron James is finding. I mean, look at the court vision. Hurls it from the baseline all the way up to the top of the key. Danny Green, the beneficiary, he drains the three. A little bit later on, LeBron's going to find Anthony Davis. Puts a little bit of work on Chris Middleton before he eventually drains the mid-range jumper. This lead keeps growing. Milwaukee's only points in the third quarter were a series of Eric Bledsoe free throws. And hey, LeBron James has been passing the ball so well, let's get him a couple of points here. He gets the screen, puts up the free throw line jumper. It's good, and at this moment, I think, is when the Lakers realized they were title bound. Lakers, of course, not backing down on defense either. He see Middleton just smothered by LeBron James, ends up bricking a close jumper. On the, uh, the putback here, Bledsoe drives to the hoop, only to be rejected by JaVale McGee's elbow. And that's all she wrote. LA is going to cruise down. Anthony Davis on the fast break dunk. This lead's not getting any better. The blowout continues. It ends up being a 67-44 to Los Angeles victory. And the Lakers end up being the 2019-20 and NBA champions. That's right, LeBron James's gamble by only bringing one top five player to the Lakers with him actually pays off. Really unprecedented. I don't think anyone could have seen this coming. LeBron James ends up taking home the finals MVP trophy. Teammate Dwight Howard, though, player of the game with an outstanding nine of 10 shooting stat line. He gets his first NBA title. The big storyline of the night, of course, being the matchup between two-time MVP Giannis Antetokounmpo and LeBron James. Who got the best of the matchup? Let's take a look at some of their individual highlights. Giannis was a force early on. Here we see him putting the hurt on King James himself, dunking all over the poor fool. Of course, we saw him disrespecting Anthony Davis to open up the scoring on the game. LeBron, though, not to be outdone on the immediate following possession, gets his first two points, a nice little jump stop, fooling the defense, and truth be told, from then on out, the King was really toasting the MVP. And not in the, the good way, like raising a toast, not that at all. Here are the stats, of course, on Giannis's MVP season, 29.5 points and 13 rebounds a game, with 5.8 assists and 61% shooting. Well-deserved Most Valuable Trophy Award, for sure. But he isn't the only impressive player on the court. I mean, LeBron James led all players in assists per game over the season and, of course, dominated the playoffs. Later in the contest, though, LeBron did have his struggles. Here we see him get stripped by Dante DiVincenzo, losing the ball out of bounds on a crucial Lakers possession. And this little Giannis floater would really be his only other contribution to the game, held to under 10 points in the contest. LeBron James getting the best of Giannis Antetokounmpo. We put a poll up on Twitter to see who you thought was the top player in the NBA right now. King James after winning another title with the Lakers or Giannis after winning back-to-back -back MVP trophies. And as you can see, voting was pretty close. However, the nod goes to King James, still the best in the league at the age of 35 years old. Well, let's look ahead at what to expect this 2020 offseason. It isn't expected to be a big one as the NBA free agent market is a little bit slim. Names like Anthony Davis and breakout star Brandon Ingram of the New Orleans Pelicans have expiring contracts, but both are expected to return to their current teams. Some drama could happen in the NBA draft this year, however. There is a slew of strong, small forwards in this year's draft, including Indiana State sharpshooter Larry Bird. While Bird is favored to be the top overall pick, the lottery does feature some promising prospects like guards Michael Ray Richardson and Reggie Theus, just to mix things up from the forward theme we've got going on. The Detroit Pistons hold the best odds for the top pick, while the two New York franchises tied with Chicago for second best overall. Draft lottery will be on July 6th, and we will have full coverage in our offseason special. Well, thanks for tuning in to this NBA Finals episode. We'll uh, see you next time when we recap the 2020 offseason. 
heading into the 2020 to 2021. My goodness, that was far too many 20s to say out loud. The next season, we'll just say the next season. When we head into the next season, we'll have a little bit more fun and excitement moving forward. Some fictional players, some historical players. This is where it will get really interesting seeing the weird, stupid scenarios that the game makes up for us. If you have any suggestions on what you want to see, such as the debut of superstar Larry Bird, anything like that, let us know. And we'll see you next time here on this episode of NBA COVID-19. Again, just a tentative title. Don't hold me to it.